Hey, hey, guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi. Welcome back to One Gun Midnight PlayStation 3. Let's play. I am so sorry, guys. It took me this long to update this goddamn game. <laughs> I got busy, okay? I am so sorry. As much as I want to finish this and continue on with the rest of my life, I really have to give my deepest apologies for delaying this for so long. I should be saying the same thing to Bajo Grande. I said it on a lot of my videos and I haven't even started on a single thing. Motivation is really hard guys. Anyway, let's just get back to the story. So when we left off, the last one that we have showcased was the Monster Supra Arc. I don't believe we started with the uh, R200 Club story or in this case which we call now this place. Which gives us back to Akio's lineup here. We actually haven't finished Gone Beyond Akio's story here. So yeah, off camera I was actually doing some things like what you see now. So just for the sake that you guys would know what the other arcs look like when you're going to be playing as them. Right now, we're gonna go with chapter, I mean series 10. The only place. Uh, to give you a quick... A story loop or background about it it revolves around um, Takayuki Kuroki and my ever so first bay before I found the R34 the R33 ah, Gran Turismo one days anyway let's just check on the card setup real quick really it's been a while since I last did this I'm really gonna F up on this one guys so I am so sorry in a sense if ever I need to switch over I will let you guys know um, you know, the first part, let's just see if we can survive with this setup. If we can't, we're gonna be seeing a retake, but when I do the retake, it'll be off time, and the only thing you'll see will be the ending. So let's begin. Series 10, The Only Place, Part 1. Taka, you're back! せっかくある yeah。Okay, uh, quick um character backgrounds there. First one with the glasses was Takeyuki Kuroki. If I was there, he'd be my babe. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. And second one is Yasu san. I forgot um, the name of his tuning shop. By the way, Kuroki's tuning shop is Flat Racing. Yasu-san, I have to backtrack on the anime. I might be saying when I get to series 12. When I did backtrack the anime. And the third guy, who looks like an asshole, is Motoki. Okay, uh, just a bit of some quick setups here. Yeah, my Z is running at 676 horsepower. Main reason is because of this. Okay, it doesn't actually improve performance, um, performance-wise. It just increases the power output of your ECU. I don't know if it really actually helped, but there are actually two kinds here. If you look closely, we have this one and that one. As far as experience is concerned, this one goes well at technical areas like C1. It gives you lower power output, while this one gives you a higher power output with extended gears. Funny enough that the gear boxes get affected thanks to good old Tom Naga. Anyway, let's just get it over with and see what happens between Akio and Kuroki. I'm gonna screw up on these first few minutes, am I? Mm. 
Okay, so apparently there was not much dialogue happening in that wall. Well, let's just say Kuroki was just printing it. And that was just a simple gas from Akio himself. The mission's objective is simply put, do not fall behind by 400 meters. Easy much to say, yes, because we have the Tominaga ECU upgrade. So at 670, we can easily keep... Never mind. I was gonna say something cool about the Tominaga ECU, then this happens. Oh, 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 that was close. Yeah, so far, um, okay, never mind, we're actually keeping up. Alright, we got 5 kilometers left. Kuroki, by the way, is running, and, and I'm not joking when I say this, guys. He is running at 8, oh, sheep, 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 accelerate. He is running at 820 freaking horsepower. That's basic, just power only upgrades, guys. Um, to actually get a proper awarded, um, what do you call that again? Rank for this? You really have to overtake Kuroki and beat his ass by a kilometer. Which is not gonna happen in our current setup. So yeah, I'm just controlling the X bar because of the uh, pressure there. And, hmm. No dialogue happening while you're staying behind. Okay, so he slowed down extremely. That's a good chance for us to catch up before the end of the goal. And oh no, no, I'm not gonna get pinned to a truck. No! Can we have some dialogue, please? It's kind of boring if it's just happening like this. Then again, the goal's just right there. Just like in the anime, actually. And just following anime plot lines, you only get a C. Again, if you want a higher rank, you really have to overtake Kuroki early on. あ、いいね、それ。お。さっきのあるの。結構なスピードで走ってたのに、まさか追いついてくる車がいるとは思わなかったよ。秋尾君めっけ。君は3にあるの。え?さっきの33あるの人? Okay, well, it's not actually shown during Akio's storyboard, which kind of puts some loopholes there when you actually think about it. But, Kuroki was actually in a quick duel against Reina. On that note. Oh, I don't want to do it. Is it Akio? No, it's not. If you want to do it, it's the best for you. It's not a good one. に限界だったし。びっくりするほど変わるぜ。いっそフルクサイキャブ合わせて そしてパワーもこのままでもうぜキャブで育った古い人間ならいざ知らずまず今のお前がそこまでこだわるこだわってるわけじゃないんですただセッティングさえ決まれば今のままで十分いけると思うんですよ相気温センサーをつけて現状
Akio agrees to have Tominaga reset the settings. However, he also requests Tominaga to keep it as a carburetor turbo. By the way, carburetors are the ones before the fuel injection. Hashtag the more you know. Anyway, so right now, um, Tominaga requests Akio to give him a reason why he should not change the carburetor to a fuel injection. And it's our obligation to show him why. So this is not like Maximum Tune. In the Wangan Mini PlayStation 3, we need to care about Yokohane. Oh look, Shiori ran! So running at 320, come on, there shouldn't be a reason for us not to change the carburetor turbo to a fuel injection. Alright, um, 10 kilometers in 3 minutes 10. I guess it's dual. <laughs> I just, uh, I just creeped aside. I was safe. But I know, guys, my reaction sounded oh so wrong. Oh, we're already at Daiba. All right, we're actually doing good. The engine is properly cool at three hundred. 20 kilometers. Did Tominaga do something already to this? Because we were running 325 earlier and we were doing so bad. Unless this one, oh my god. Unless this one was the time when um, the settings were already done. Oh, that was so close. And funny enough, we're only doing 1.5, um, less than 1.5 bar. And by the term log, geez, this is actually cruising speed. And we don't have the turbo scramble yet to actually um, go to the 2.0 bar. Oh, all right. Now it's hit, now it's clock. It's capping at 330 kilometers per hour. Understood. And we got a minute to spare. Ah! Okay. You guys should not have seen that. I should not have crashed. Okay, so the ending is at Ginza. Oh my god, that was totally embarrassing. So, as soon as we get down to Ginza ramp, that's where it finishes and we have 30 seconds to spare. It's kind of grippy actually, which is good. I mean really, I haven't played this game for a long time, I forgot how grippy this game was. No! Freaking legacy! Are we actually going to make it? We can easily make it if I did a crash into the truck earlier. Nah, we'll make it. There it is. I wanted to trip, but the tires didn't squeal. Oh! Despite the crash, we actually did good! I hope Tom Naga didn't see that. I thought it was a good thing, but the power so they were saying actually that the, the Z was good but it's lacking in power. That's why Tominaga was around. Good go good thinking, Kitami. Tomo. こんにちは。デートの帰り、やかしに寄ったって感じかな。わかります。違いますよ。実装セッティングに付き合ってもらってるんです。この前走ったよ。ブラックバードと腕も車も全然叶わなかったな。とことん実践なんだね。君たちは
決まりじゃあブラックバードも呼びましょうかこういうやつなんですよレイナって Okay, another nerd alert here, guys. So, the cutscene practically tells about. In the anime, Kuroki、um, joined in the settings before they won, faced the R200 Club together, and two, before he fought against Blackbird. Here, Blackbird Duel came in first, then. Oh, wait, never mind. It actually, it actually went co in sync. Sorry about that. Forget what I've said, you guys. Forget what I've said. I was stupid. <laughs> so, it still coincided the same way with the anime. So, the first encounter between Blackbird and Kuroki was at Yokohane, and Kuroki got his ass kicked. On this time, they're doing the settings alongside、uh, Tominaga's requirements. So, this one we should not fall behind by 200 meters on either of the two. In the anime, actually, this is where.、Um, oh, screw Reina, screw you. Ow, my face.、Um, in the anime, what was I trying to say? Yeah, they were doing one loop around C1. Then. Sorry, I was just trying to. Okay, Shima will be passing us. Never mind, there was traffic, so he's not gonna pass us at all. Simply put,、um, if I'm right, Kuroki is in the passenger seat right now of the Devil Z. And.、Um, yeah. We just need to make one loop around C1. Which is kind of slightly boring. So. I'll be right back, guys. When a cutscene happens, I'll pitch you with! As I was saying, I'll pitch you guys in when a cutscene appears. Or if ever I crash again in the next coming seconds. Alright, I'll just be right back here, guys. Damn it! I crashed again. And I was doing oh so well. Oh, correction, we're not actually doing a full loop around C1. That's a surprise. And the goal is just right there. Oh, we actually hit 700 meters. Yeah, the AI is bad. Blame Genki for this. And of course, I actually intentionally outran them. I got it. 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 でも全然後悔してないですよ。俺ずっと真面目な子だったんですよ。でも Z に出会ってそれで変わったっていうわけじゃなくてもともとの自分に気づいたようなあの Z といる非日常の世界が少しも違和感なくてその場所でいいんだと。そんな声さえ聞こえてくるような気がしてあなたの皆さんは、これを見つけたら、パート1の The Only Place。We'll be right back with some more once we get to part 2. So, we unlock silver. I actually forgot what you can actually unlock here because, like you saw earlier at the start, I already finished this stage. So, I'm sorry about that, guys. Oh, if I remember correctly, the Kuroki gearbox,、um, the Kuroki engine cooling is actually attained on silver. So, when we get back, it will be in part 2. And I'll tell you more about that on the next episode. So, this is Miyogi saying, see you guys in the next part.